Cool. So you can see me and hear me, and there's a jam. Yeah. And the jam is, yeah, jam is working for me. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, here we are. Uh, Echolox has handed over the stream key from his mighty streaming pod in Germany where we were broadcasting that amazing collab with, uh, with Constine and Uncle Homunculus and Toe. Um, first time we're trying out this kind of like actually getting people on camera. I think it's much nicer to be able to see what people are actually doing together, but it's incredible. I tuned in to as much of it as I could. Obviously I was setting stuff up here so I didn't catch all of it. Yeah, my Lord, isn't it good? Isn't it good? What a cool thing to be, uh, to be doing really. So, um, so yeah, here we are, Tuesday. Um, it's a regular spot. We've actually managed to live stream every Tuesday for the last like five, six, six. I've, I've actually lost count now how many Tuesdays we've actually managed to live stream, which is brilliant. So um, this week I'm joined by the illustrious Mr. Stevie J. Um, Bonsoir. Bonsoir from Stevie J. Um, I think every t Stevie, every time you're on, I'm going to have to tell this, the David Bowie story. David Bowie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. said that um, Stevie has David Bowie's old teeth. And then I think you quipped something Can back to that. Yeah. No, I have to tell you, we basically went in, I was um, playing Madison Square Garden with Air, uh, as you do, and um, you do. he was curating it. And uh, I was just me and the two guys from Air sitting in the room, and in walks Bowie, wearing this gorgeous suit and looking really cool. And he came over to shake my hand and he goes, um, oh, I see you've my old teeth. So I've got these pretty <laughs> little fangs, you know? I've always hated the fangs and they really annoyed me, but once Bowie said that, I see you've my old teeth, I was like, I think I said, yeah, it's amazing what you can get an eBay these days, David. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean. Bowie laugh and uh, it was a terrible gag, but uh, I felt good. And yeah. I like the fangs ever since. I've never not worried about it, you know? There you go. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great tale. It's a great tale. So, um, so yeah, chat. Are you are you receiving us, chat? Um, a me or a people? Uh, but yeah, I'm just looking at the chat. The chat seems a bit quiet. I'm just wondering if we're actually live. Yes, yes, says Echolox. Yes, says Jimmy Sandwiches. Uh, welcome, chat. Welcome, Jada Squid. Shape noise. Jimmy Sandwiches. Echolox. Bill Tribble. Perfect Voltage Club. Um, Clayt. Clayt here. We are live. Excellent. So, um, so yeah, basically the, the next hour and well, I mean, you know, there, there is no limit. I mean, obviously there is kind of a limit, but there's not a limit to how long we can go on. Nah. Well, it's probably going to be an hour and a half or so. Um, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be jamming with Stevie. Stevie is, we're both in London, but obviously in separate parts of London. So we might as well be in uh, Mars and the moon. Um, but we're going to be jamming together and um, I'm going to be doing my bit mostly on um, Endless Studio um, or like the a very early version of Endless Studio um, which, uh, which is very exciting, very exciting indeed because uh, I think as a few of you here will know you may even be here because you heard about the live stream tonight and maybe you'll have some questions about Endless Studio um, uh, but, but yeah, obviously, you know, we're going to be starting a Kickstarter campaign in a few weeks' time. Uh, we're just finalising all the dates, getting everything ready. Um, obviously, the whole idea of a Kickstarter campaign is that, uh, you know, you you back us and help us build the thing. So it, it's not um, it's not completely finished yet, and it won't be finished for um, some yeah for a few months. It's probably well, you know, we're looking to ship the final thing kind of you know at some point next year. But we've already made some good headway on it. We have a um, we have it running on macOS. It's you know it's basically it's mostly the interface is like the the iOS app, but it's got some extra things. And we've also got a really cool mapping to able to push. I'm actually at this point, funny enough, I'm actually playing um, from the iPad here. So this is the the mobile um, version here, obviously running on the iPad. Um, uh, but here is it running. On, uh, on the desktop. So obviously it it works exactly the same as the mobile app. If you haven't got the mobile app yet, um, go and grab it there. I mean, I'm sure Echolox will plop a, a link in 
to the stream, to the App Store, to download the app. Uh, if not, head to endless with three s's.fm to download the app, and, and you'll get a much better idea of the stuff that we'll be digging into tonight. But essentially, it's exactly the same thing. I'm, you know, I can play riffs here, so I can tell you what. I'm just putting putting these extra hats on. And I'm just looping it, just like I do with the mobile device, and you see it popping up here, just like it does um, on the mobile device. But this is running on a desktop. Um, this is mapped to a MIDI controller, Ableton Push, and you can also see that we've actually um, we've actually got this. We're using the Ableton Push screen, so you can actually. Ooh, what's going on? Some very strange microphone stuff going on. <clears throat> um, um, so yeah, you can actually, you know, just jam away completely with Ableton Push without even looking at the at the computer. So it really, it really kind of feels like like hardware. Um, so yeah, I think Stevie, should, should we, let's just let's just like get stuck in and, and jam. I'll make sure that Sounds I good. I look up to uh, um, the chat and answer <laughs> the questions. I uh, look up to the heavens. Uh, so if you yeah, I have no, I have no, I have no chat in front of me. So you're, all, I, I very much doubt anyone's gonna want to ask me anything apart from, can you just stop, please? But um, if you've anything to, if if you need to ask me anything, just ask. Because I'm just full jam flow here. Yeah. I've got your little thing. Let's just strip that back. There we go. I'm and preset. So all right. So Stevie's just stripped it back. Um, so push one, basically, so uh, yeah, green, blue, spiral, um, push one. Basically, all MIDI controllers will be supported. At, at the moment, um, we just built like a, a mapping. We just picked one controller and we thought, you know, Ableton Push 2 is the best one to do a kind of demo mapping. Um, but, you know, we'll, uh, well, firstly, there'll be, you'll be able to make your own mappings. Um, but, you know, the intention is to ship with, uh, you know, out of the box mappings for push one and push two. Um, you know, Akai APCs, um, NI Machina, you know, all the all the main all the mainstream controllers. Um, so uh, yeah, so so you can just you know basically plug it in and get a hardware type experience, but collaborative. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Ewok seventy eight push well push two works. Um, yeah, works with endless. I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll walk, so I'll walk you quickly through the mapping. So um, we've got here. I can I can select the different devices. So if you know the for the mobile, well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll try and kind of mirror what I'm doing in in the app. So if you press, if you hold down device here, you'll see um, these uh, six coloured pads, um, coloured areas, and you can see the coloured areas here. So these are exactly the same selectors. So I can say select the drums, and the drum pads are mapped here. And then at the top, I've got the the knobs, which you'd see on that page. Um, so you know, if I select some drums there, those are the knobs on the on the um, mobile app. And then here, I've just you know, they're just mapped. So I'm just playing with the pitch here. And to do the, the loop, so on the on the um, mobile app, you have these uh, these waveform uh, displays, and uh, uh, you can loop like one bar, two bar, four bars, or eight bars. And here we've got the map: one bar, two bar, four bars, and eight bars. So the whole workflow is is there. Um, so yeah, trying to trying to please do machine a jam. Yeah, no, we yeah absolutely machine jam. Yeah, launch pad. But well, basically, what what we're gonna what we're gonna do with the, for the MIDI mapping side of stuff, um, we're just gonna make a generic mapping tool, um, uh, and then we'll you know we'll go in and build mappings for um, for like the, all the mainstream controllers. Um, but you will also be able to make your own mappings and you know save them as as text files. Um, so yeah, it's X Y pad would be great. Yeah, I mean that that would be really cool. I mean, we, you know, we're also going to uh, support things like Rolly Blocks. Um, so obviously, Rolly Blocks has an X Y pad, um, so we can be able to, you know, we'll be able to use. So because one of the best things about the mobile app is that you know you've got this X Y pad here, 
um, which is particularly cool for the effects um, section. Uh, but you can still, you know, you can still get a pretty good ef effects experience here. So okay, I'll just go in, I'll do the thing. So this is terribly bad. If any of you are new to Endless, this is what I'm about to do is terribly bad etiquette, but I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to select. You're going to splat me. I'm going to splat. I'm going to splat select CBJ. Here he goes. So I've, I've gone in. Full smush. So here I'm in. I'm in the. I'm in an effect. Um, uh, I'm in the low pass filter. So I'm, I'm going to dial up full low pass filter, full resonance, and I've rooted all the loops through this low pass filter. Um, and I'm just going to make a loop of that, which obviously bounces all the loops down to one splat, which uh, Stevie J is actually left in disgust. Uh, about what I've just done. So anyway, I'll skip back to the previous riff and send that back to him again. Uh, so maybe maybe when he's not disgusted with me anymore, he'll come back and do some more stuff. Um, I had to let the cat out. <laughs> I had to let the cat out, brilliant. Uh, do you have any plans to make it possible to combine riffs so that one can create inside? Yes, so um, Enzaladas, yes. This is, um, this is like on our roadmap. And this is, so this is something that's actually, it's gonna happen across platform. Uh, we call it song mode. I don't know if it's going to end up being called that in, in the long run, but uh, but basically, uh, you know, you'll be able to chain riffs um, into into short arrangements. It'll be really quick to do, um, and then post these to a feed. And this is we're actually working on this now, um, and this is going to be a cross-platform thing. So it's not just going to be uh, um, for the for Ender Studio. It's also going to be in the mobile app, um, and th you know, there's a lot of functionality that will be similar between both of them. Uh, endless via modular. Well, I mean, so endless via modular um, is already. Uh, I think. I mean, you can. You already can do it with the mobile app. This this wonderful thing, the the iRig iRig two. Uh, you can plug it in. Um, it's got a quarter inch jack that you can plug in your well any sound source into basically. Uh, and if you've got something that can sync up to Ableton Link. Um, then uh, and then that can sync your mod modular. Then you, you can do it. But basically, what the, the whole point of Endless Studio is that it's taking something that the mobile app experience that is essentially just like uh, really fun um, and uh, you know fun and quick and immediate and in your pocket um, and that same kind of fun immediate experience, but like that really ties into your uh, more pro workflow. So. Um, uh, I'm just trying to, trying to keep up with the questions here. I was hoping it'd be more than typical Luca EVM structure and strong. Uh, right, yeah. I mean, that's, the song structure thing. Th this is, yeah. This is this is incoming. Uh, you know, we're we're all particularly excited about that. Um, but uh, yeah. So, but the main um, in which technology is implemented Qt framework. So, uh, so the whole um, the the code base, the client side code base. Um, which basically means that the stuff that the actual app runs in, because obviously we've got the app, um, which is what runs on your phone, and then we've got all the stuff that runs on the servers. Um, that's a whole different thing. Um, but the way the app works is uh, we programmed it in Juice, uh, J-U-C-E. It's um, a uh, it's a it's a framework. It's a it's a C plus plus framework. Um, uh, sample input, yes, absolutely. So, so um, Alfred Lentz, uh, sample input, absolutely. So, the main the, the main benefits of Endless Studio is really to like, you know, we want to bring this whole workflow, which we know is like, it's really quick and really fun and instantly collaborative and plugs you into people and plugs you into an audience. It allows you, you know, eventually when we've got this feed stuff, you'll be able to start building a following, like, you know, like you do on a, a social network. Um, but we want to plug that directly into your studio. Um, so it's relevant to, uh, if you're a composer or a sound designer or a producer or, or DJ or, you know, someone who, uh, you know, who creates um, or, or uses kind of, you know, high-end, high-quality music to bring this workflow into your workflow. So um, you can, uh, so you'll be able to like drag and drop uh, uh, audio, into Endless, so so let's say you've got it running on the plug the plugin version in your DAW, you can just like drop, grab a clip um, out of Ableton, drop it on the interface, um, and it'll it'll just like sync up and be sent as as a riff 
uh, to your collaborators straight away. And likewise, as soon as someone sends you a riff in, you can then drag it out of there into your um, into Ableton, into Logic, Cubase, you know, whatever you use to arrange stuff. Um, so, you know, it's the, the idea is, is like to bring this really quick kind of paradigm of working as, as close to your, uh, your kind of professional workflow or, or like deep compositional workflow as, as we can. Um, ah, de-stunning, Cozy Juice as well. Yeah, Juice is amazing. Um, yeah, for Roly, the Roly, Roly crew of friends of ours, obviously, you know, so I'm, I'm down in Bethel Green, by the way, so not far from you. Um, Bethel Green in London, shout out to the London crew. Woo! Um, so you can audition prior to dropping into the live loop main mix. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what you mean there, Pacific Voltage Club. Um, will that also be computer to computer without wireless? Uh, the back, okay, two, uh, um, Linux version, we could do a Linux version. I mean, if, if there's, basically this is the cool thing about the, about an end, uh, about a Kickstarter campaign is that if loads of people want Linux, then you just tell us to do Linux. Uh, you know, if it's suddenly, there's like a thousand people who want a Linux version, then clearly we should do a Linux version. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, computer commute to computer without wireless. Without wireless. Uh, basically, you can, you'll be able to, um, so let's say you've got the, um, the endless VST running in Ableton on your laptop, and then you've got another friend with an iPad um, in the same jam, and then you've got another friend uh, who's running Cubase somewhere in another place around the world. All the riffs that you, that you make through either the, the app or the plugin or a standalone version, they'll all be synced up immediately. So there's no, you don't have, there's no kind of like wired technology. It's just, you know, it's all synced up in the cloud. It's all saved in the cloud. And if you have, well, particularly if you get the Endless Studio lifetime package, which is basically, you pay us once and you get a lifetime subscription um, for um, lossless uh, collaboration. So you can send as much audio as you like losslessly. We also store everything, back it up, sync it up between all your devices losslessly forever. Um, if you, uh, so yeah, if you want, um, basically there's one, there's, there's one chance because <laughs> we, we can't, basically it, it, it costs us money to do that. It's a service, you know, we have to, uh, we have to like build the infrastructure and maintain it and we have to pay for all the storage and we have to pay for all the bandwidth and so on. So, but we know that there's a lot of people who uh, don't like subscriptions, are ideologically opposed to subscriptions. We hear you. Uh, so what we're doing it, it, with Kickstarter is one of the one of the main Kickstarter perks is that you can ba basically buy a lifetime subscription to Endless for um, for a, a one-time price. And we can't do this for everyone because basically we'd be in business for like a few years and then we'd just go out of business <laughs> uh, because we you know we wouldn't get any more money to like pay for the stuff, the service that we provide. Anyway, um, will you guys deprioritize new features on mobile with Studio coming? Uh, no, 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 that's not, that's not the plan. Uh, that, that is not the plan at all. We're actually, I mean, we will, we'll, you know, obviously we've got at the moment, we're quite a small developer team. We've got one full-time developer and three part-time developers. Um, but, uh, you know, once we, once we, once we're backed on Kickstarter, then we can bring in more developers. Um, so we're, you know, right now until the Kickstarter is done, we're focusing on the mobile app, obviously, because we we're not we don't have any desktop stuff to build. Um, but then uh, we, yeah, we'll probably like sort of a b it like a little bit on the mobile, a little bit on the desktop. So the, the mobile will still the mobile app will still get continued love as much as the the desktop app will get love as well. Um, one thing I beg lots of ISM is try something like the chord track feature. Jamming one gets bored. Yeah, 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 yeah. De stenning. Totally, totally. Um, uh, we we want this whole. There, there's been a lot of like uh, team fantasizing about uh, you know like pitch pitch extraction and being able to like play in playing instruments, playing kind of free chord structures and then the app picks it up. 
it's quite complex stuff. It's definitely not going to be coming this year. Probably won't be coming next year either. But you know, in the long run, it's the kind of stuff that you know we're nerds and we love this stuff and we want to put that in there. Um, uh, Green Beast Smart, yes, lifetime applies to iOS app as well. So it's a cross-platform, it's a cross-platform uh, collaborative platform. So if you if you get lifetime if you get lifetime studio, uh, which basically includes the infinite package, which is um, the uh, blah, 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 the sound packs, so that are kind of ever expanding sound library, access to all your riffs, plus lossless audio. Um, if you get the lifetime subscription, that is like that is you, done, or at least for at least for all the services. I mean, there's other stuff that we're thinking of, like um, basically allowing people to. Uh, so maybe one day we could put there could be like a listening package in Ender, so where we could like um, distribute royalties to. Um, uh, to people who make music on Endless, whose music gets listened to quite a bit, so that wouldn't necessarily be part of, of Lifetime because it's a different thing. But in terms of like Endless as a service, Endless as like a creative tool, if you get Infinite, that is, if you get Infinite for Life, that is, uh, if you get Endless Studio for Life, that is like everything. Um, the iOS app, um, Infinite Riff History, all the sound packs, lossless audio, storage, that's that for life. Um, Lifetime. So yes, lifetime is. Thank you, Wilco. Uh, four words. Lifetime is cross-platform, rather than fifty words. Um, uh, I have to give a massive shout out to Stevie J, who's just like. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy here. So I'm just sitting. Uh, yeah. Okay. Listening to you telling about telling us about the desktop, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. I'm yeah, and it's sort of I, pretty pretty darn excited about that, to be honest. I, yeah, I'm pretty excited. How long before MIDI sync is implemented, uh, not link sync? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's not so. Um, that's in the backlog. So we have a backlog basically, which is a list of uh, features that will be built someday. And MIDI sync is is in there. Um, and there's a back, there's backlog of stuff we want to do that gets prioritised. And then there's like the immediate stuff that's being done in the immediate present. Um, and that's not in there yet. But again, you know, this is this is why we do stuff with the community. This is why we're coming to Kickstarter because you can basically tell us. Um, you know, if a thousand people say we want MIDI sync now, then MIDI sync gets bumped up the list. That's how it works. Uh, OSX version. Okay, so Mohammed um, Bakhtiari. Um, so the uh, so basically the the, the, fi the final final version um, of Ender Studio. Um, we're putting down. Th this is like when everything is done. With, with so the macOS version, the Windows version. Um, that's probably going to be. We're looking about like May next year. Um, but we're also going to do the, an alpha version. So if you go for the um, Endless Studio Lifetime package, um, then you'll get on the alpha list. And we're looking to send out the alpha versions in uh, December this year. Um, so they won't be, comp uh, you know, it'll be a bit complete. It won't be, it won't be fully, it won't be, there might be some features that aren't completely finished, but there'll be enough for there, there'll be enough there for you to use it. Um, and, and so we're looking at shipping that in December to everyone who's got the lifetime packages. And there's also, I think we're also going to do another um, a tier, like a kind of collaborator tier, slightly higher tier, uh, where we'll send you the, uh, this prototype, like basically, Pretty much as soon as the campaign finishes in, in June, um, that we can send you this. But that will come with caveats because there are plenty of bugs that, that you know, um, there's plenty, it's, it's rough around the edges at the moment. So um, we, that's very much like a collaborator hardcore relationship. But if you really want to get your hands on the Ableton Push thing, there will be a limited edition uh, kind of a super duper package um, where we'll send you the prototype version like pretty much as soon as the Kickstarter campaign is finished. Um, are we hiring? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, that really depends on, so, on how the Kickstarter goes. So um, if we um, if we like just meet, reach our goal on Kickstarter, we probably won't hire anyone else. If we smash through our goal on Kickstarter, then yeah, we're going to be hiring. <laughs> we're definitely going to be hiring. We want to we want to we want to start hiring. When is Kickstarter kicking off? Um, and what cost of like? Um, so um, I'm still checking. I'm not missing anything. How on earth do you handle the clocks? Um, Pacific Voltage Car. Actually, do you know? I'm actually gonna. Uh, I'll defer to Discord there because there's there's a lot of stuff about clocks um, in in Discord and how that's handled. 
Uh, but yeah, so we, I mean, we, we, you know, we, we still want to, there's a few things we still need to iron out about exactly what, how we're going to do with the campaign, you know, what the reward tiers are and making sure that we've really dotted our T's and crossed our I's. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, but we're looking at kind of early, early to mid-May. So the campaign's probably going to start like early to mid-May. Um, and it was going to run for about 30 days, which is, you know, the standard, your standard Kickstarter campaign. Will new effects packs come with the new monthly sound pack? So there will be, there will be effects packs um, at some point. That's actually, uh, again, you know, me and the team, we're all absolute nerds and we really want some crazy new effects. And, uh, you know, if you know my uh, previous work, um, I like a bit of DSP myself. I like to I like to program some effects, and there's a whole bunch of um, algorithms that I'd love to get into Endless. Uh, but that, um, and actually, this uh, this is a good thing. This is a good thing to uh, uh, seek into um, that we um, the sound design tool. So this is one of the this is one of I think one of the, one of the really cool things about Endless Studio. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll get this up now. So basically we have, we, we have a sound design tool already in the, in the Mac OS desktop version, which is what we use to make, uh, to make the sound packs. And that, that is already functioning. So if you, if you have this, if you, have, if you get the kind of collaborator super tier, then we will, you will get this basically in, uh, you know, pretty much when the campaign finishes. Um, and it allows you to build your own um, sound packs, like the sound packs you've got in Endless. Um, and very shortly, you'll be actually you'll be able to save those from your desktop to the cloud, and then they'll sync to your mobile device. Uh, so I'll, I'll let me I'll, I'll I'll show you I'll show you very quickly um, how that'll work. So we've got the sound design tool. Oh, all right, yeah. So we've got the sound design tool up here. Uh, just below my face. <laughs> um, this is, you know, this is an early version. We haven't, we haven't made the interface pretty yet, and we've got, we've got designs for the interface. You've probably seen some of them on the on the previews. Um, and we're, you know, one of the things that we need to do with the Kickstarter money basically is is build that interface and integrate everything into it. Um, but this is the sound design tool. So um, here I've got. It's quite out of tune actually. Um, anyway, this you might know is a sound called Eardrop, uh, which is um, which is actually in in the app uh, already in the in the sort of the basic notes sound pack. But what I can do, I'll just let me just tab to the sound design tool. Um, so I can now I can then take um, a sample. Um, I'm actually going to take a, a loop here. Uh, and I'm just going to drop it um, on the sound design tool. Uh, if my computer's actually going to allow me to, <laughs> hang on. My poor uh, MacBook MacBook Pro is running OBS, streaming in two webcams, doing all this capture stuff, <laughs> grading stuff. It's yeah, mine's dying a death, and it's just from yeah. Google Hangouts. It's like <laughs> you know that replace battery warning that comes up. It's like right. replace battery, like, oh, seriously. Right. And then it goes like, like really replace, it says <laughs> really replace the battery, but um, I can't get into the Apple store, of course. So. Oh God. It just, it just it, as soon as you turn it on, the fans are up to like 11. Right, yeah. <laughs> You've probably got the same vibe. Yeah, no, I, I, the, the, the irony is I tried this early. I was just like, okay, I need to make sure that my computer's not gonna freak out. But I forgot that when you're streaming, it's doing extra effort. So, uh, um, so, what I'm trying to do here is drag a sample um, into the sound design tool. Um, uh, um, oh, I suppose it's a bit like, you know, if you if you said, Tim, can you sing a song? And you're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it's in. There we go. Anything. There we go. And it, oh, there, we go. there we go. So I'll, I'll just, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll stop the playback for a bit. Um, yeah. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so here, you know, I've just loaded a, a sample. So it's actually a loop. Um, but uh, ah, so okay. 
So it's, this is using the same sound engine that we've made all the sound packs out of. Um, but basically you can, you can make up your own sound packs. You can just drag samples in, you can drag vocal samples in, you can, uh, you know, I, anything, anything you can sample, you can drag it in, make your own sound packs. Um, and currently you can save these sound packs um, to, uh, to the desktop. So if you've got the desktop app, you can make your own sound packs and use them on the desktop, but very, very shortly. Um, I mean, I can't promise exactly when, <laughs> um, but we're, we're going to build the, the sync from... So basically, you can design your sound packs, push them to your mobile, and then you, you've got them you know, wherever you are in the cloud, ready to go. Hallelujah! Um, yes, that'll Hallelujah. be good. Yeah. That'll be good. So anyway, here we've... So I've, yeah, made a horrible, crazy mess. Horrible, crazy mess. So it's really, it's really fun when you get into just like dropping samples in um, to to the sound design tool on the desktop and you know jamming out on Ableton Push. It gets super fun. Um, and you know when you when you're going to be able, when you can do that in your DAW. So you can you've got the plugin, you've got the Endless VST up on your master channel. Um, you can get you know you can dial up plugins in your door, um, get some arpeggiators going, sample that into Endless, um, and then drag that, drag that drag that loop out, or, or say you know get your friend to remix it with some effects. We'll be able to link Endless to Breakcore Box. <laughs> wow, blast in the past. Uh, <laughs> Turn off some kind of the other one. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, yeah, Harky, hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Um, uh, example, please. Can we make break call with it? Uh, okay, so that sounds like a challenge. Do you want to try and make some break call? We're going really back into town. Uh, okay, let's try and make some. Um, Hmm, break core. Okay, let's get the temp let's get the tempo going up. What are you gonna do? What's the speed? What core? Break core? Break core. Will the plugin version have multiple outputs to route into individual tracks in Ableton Live like Flesh did? Um It's not it's not directly on the roadmap now, but it's it, I mean that's the sort of thing. If that if that is a really kind of um well sought after feature, then you know we can totally, we can totally do that. Um, I, I think we've, I think the uh, the break core thing might have uh, gone down the stream. <laughs> Harky, I'll make you some break core another time. We'll set up a break core jam. Uh, get yeah, get get the app. Uh, uh, set up a break core jam and send me an invite, and we'll have a we'll have a we'll have like a mobile um, or Ableton push versus mobile, um, endless studio versus mobile jam later so um, so yeah I mean that, that that'd be really interesting though know? if that's if that's something that people really want um, then yeah we, we can definitely we can definitely look into that speaking of breaks says D backs D backs I'll let you destroy that. At least it made sense of the little yellow, your little yellow daisy that you left, your <laughs> little yellow buttercup. <laughs> oh. Sounds like we slipped. Oh, they've gone into C minor, wrong key. So. Mm. Oh, sorry, it was wrong key. It's in there. Uh, it's all right, leave it there. I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll maneuver it. I'll, I'll, I'll shift it up. Uh, D backs, D backs. Yes, yes, you can build drum kits. In, in fact, uh, so if I go, if I select a drum kit here, you'll see that the sound design tool actually switches into drum mode. Um, so in here, you can just dra you can drag and drop any sample um, on any of these pads here, uh, and you can build your own drum kits like that. And at some point. Um, we will also have, um, you know, built-in synth engines, so you can actually design design proper, like, fully fledged synth patches and stuff like that. I mean, that's a, again, that's down the road. Um, uh, dev team, shut your ears. Don't we don't have to worry about this now. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. This is really. 
I realize it's really, yeah, my, my computer is kind of struggling with all this stuff. So, no idea. so yeah, so any, um, let me, let me go through all the stuff that we're going to do in the Kickstarter. So obviously, um, like, are, you, are you folks like au fait with Kickstarter? Like, I, I really, I really like to know actually from the chat, like how many people here um, have backed a Kickstarter before? Um, like, shout if you have, shout if you haven't. I'm really interested to know. Yes. So, what is the lag between when you play into the loop and others hearing it and able to react to it? Um, that's Equinox has. Yes. Yes. No, some people have. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, the the, the lag. So Endless, is, it's real time, but it's asynchronous. Um, so basically, it's as long as like when you send someone a text message. Let's say you, let's say you send someone a, uh, like a voice message on WhatsApp. Um, it takes a certain amount of time for that voice message to be transferred to them, uh, and then as soon as um, the person who sent the message has got the message, then you can play the message. And that's basically how it works with Endless. And because you don't have to be clocked to the same tempo, because often you're in separate rooms, so you don't have to be synced up. You know, because you don't hear them singing or playing out of sync because they're you know uh, thousands of miles away potentially. Um, so you can be um, you can be out of sync and just receiving these new updates and new new loops um, as, as soon as they're there. It's it's weird. I mean, I can sit here and describe it like uh, f f for for forever, but just go try it out. I mean, if you haven't tried it out yet, get the app. Go to endless with three s's dot fm um, or um, Ecolox might be able to um, just put the link in the uh, chat. Um, Oh, back to something where live is. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Wicked. Okay. Enceladus. Awesome. Right. First time. First time to Kickstarter. Thank you. Um, uh, so that's cool. That's that is cool. That's that's good to that's good to know um, that people have uh, backed back Kickstarters before. Um, so I so say yeah. I was going to go. So yeah. The way Kickstarter works is um, you promise like the core thing that you're going to do, and that's that's what you plan. You know, you plan to deliver it. So you run the campaign. Everybody like puts their money in. Then obviously, when you get to the end of the campaign, it's like hopefully you've reached your target, and then um, all the payments come out. Uh, then we get that money. That means that we can like uh, pay um, pay. Basically, all, all that money goes into paying people, <laughs> and we're, you know, believe me, we're not paying people a lot of money. There's there's a lot of like generous heartedness uh, um, helping us, you know, do this and, and get this to the next level. So you know, we're not sort of like cruising around in fancy cars and you know, da da da. da. Uh, it's very <laughs> you know, we, we're keeping it we're keeping it lean. Um, but so yeah. We get the money, then we start building it, and, and then in about a year's time, you know, we 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 finish all the work. Um, you get the, the the final thing. But obviously, with Kickstarter, um, there's a possibility that you can uh, you can kind of uh, raise a lot more money than um, than what the, the minimum amount of money you need to make the minimum thing is. So you have stretch goals, um, and we're currently I'm currently looking at the stretch goal. The thing with the stretch goals, they're meant to be. They're like they're meant to be a bit of a secret, you know. So, um, but if you well, let, okay, I'll, I'll I'll tell you now. I'll read through the list of like all the really basic stuff, like the core stuff that we're we're gonna put in um, to end the studio, uh, and then maybe we can have a bit of a jam about what kind of uh, stretch goals you might be interested in. Um, so yeah, so we'll have the sound design tool. Um, we will have, uh, you know, being able to create uh, your own sound packs, save them to your own account um, across uh, from desktop to mobile, across all your devices. Uh, we'll have a special desktop and landscape interface uh, with full support for macOS, full support for Windows, VST plugin, audio unit plugin, um, like full MIDI control. Um, so you know, like the Ableton Push, but you know, across everything. Obviously, that MIDI control is going to be. Uh, much more fully featured in the standalone version because um, basically MIDI controlling plugins within DAWs is a bit complicated. It's 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 um, it's easy sending data to them, but as you can see here in Push, there's a lot of data, there's a lot of information coming back from Endless, which basically you know makes all the lights turn on and makes us controls the screen, etc. 
so uh, so all that gets uh, so yeah MIDI mapping that what, what I'm saying what I'm telling you what I'm saying is <laughs> um, we kind of think so we've got the desktop version the standalone and then we've got the the plugin version and the plugin version that's really the idea of the plugin version is it allows you to collaborate live from your DAW to any other DAW anywhere in the world and that's like a particular um, that's a particular thing that I think a lot of people want or certainly it, it, we've heard that a lot of people want to be able to do this um, for the, the standalone version that's a bit more focused that's a bit more kind of um, geared towards people who like to do live sets so I think um, maybe if you're like into modular synths or you're into hardware synths stuff like that um, the like the desktop app is going to be for you if you like to do this whole like live improvised whatever you know techno or looping or you know whatever live beats kind of stuff like the desktop apps definitely going to be much more your jam and that's going to have much more involved MIDI mapping and you know in a sense the sky's the limit with what you could do with MIDI mapping and if you you know for you who for those of you who might know the stuff that I did before I've got this instrument called the flow machine um, that's basically it's basically endless uh, the, I mean the flow machine was a prototype to endless and um, it has a whole bunch of MIDI controllers that allows me to basically improvise the way you can with Endless, but only solo, whereas Endless is, you know, collaborative. Um, but, you know, the idea is that with the desktop version, the MIDI mapping, that you'd be able to set up a mapping like that. You could have like, you know, six or seven different MIDI controllers. That's where we're going. I'm not promising that we will get that completely finished for um, for the Kickstarter, uh, you know, but that's what we're going. Anyway, hello, hello. Effects on mic output before you loop it in a jam. Ah, oh, Clayt here. Okay, you you <laughs> sussed out one of our stretch goals. That was one of our stretch goals. <laughs> um, uh, the more hands the better. Oh, do you find multiple Tim hands in the different cams irritating? Is that true? Is that irritating, chat? Do I need to keep my hands out of... Is that irritating? Oh well, we'll uh, um, so, no, no, it's questions, questions. Any plans to create and export short arrangements? Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, so this came up earlier, but so this is what we call song mode. Um, it basically allows you to kind of chain a number of riffs into um, a kind of a arrangement. Um, uh, th this, is, this is incoming um, and I think um, that's going to be one of the, so there's going to be a few features. So basically Endless Studio, it's kind of, it's got two components to it. Obviously you've got the actual applications, um, which is the desktop app and, and the plugins. Um, and then you've got the service side of it, which is basically the bit that allows you to then collaborate live with people. Um, and so it's kind of, you know, it, it's kind of two things wedded together and we're, we're figuring out exactly like what the, the boundaries are between each one at the moment but basically there'll be some probably some features of the application that will be unlocked if you get the um, uh, get the HD lifetime subscription or a year subscription or whatever um, but I think say, for example like stem export of um, arrangements that you make in song mode that that's a that's a good candidate for something that would come in in the uh, end of studio lifetime package yeah, song modes. I mean, it's all about the song mode, isn't it? Will there be an endless radio in song? Well, funny. Uh, yeah. So there's been some chat about um, uh, setting up an endless record label. Actually, um, there's been some chat. I'll leave it at that. There's been some chat. Um, uh, but you know, there's there's a huge amount. There's some amazing stuff that is made in endless. Like uh, some outstanding music that has been made. In endless, and um, you know, we we don't want to let that stuff go to waste. And, you know, that's partly what the idea of song mode is that um, you know, because song mode will also come with this feed. Um, so, I think in the first instance, you'll be able to. So, let's say you find a really good riff in the jams. Um, it's a riff that may, maybe maybe you didn't even maybe you even you weren't even part of collaborating in in that riff, but you could then. Uh, say okay I like that I'm going to post that to my feed so you post it to the feed um, as a highlight and then people can you know uh, scroll through it they can like them react to them etc you know more like a traditional feed but the point is that um, you get we get to start like curating 
creating good stuff because at the moment, uh, you know, a, an absolutely terrible riff uh, disappears into the past at exactly the same ri rate as an absolutely incredible riff <laughs> disappears into the past. So, um, you know, we want Endless to be a place where like really good stuff sticks around and people can find it um, and the people who make it can get the tr props for making it um, and the people who listen to it can get inspired to go and make their own stuff. You know, this that whole that whole thing. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ecolot. Sterling work. Um, any thought of being able to render effects like reverb through send returns so you can get reverb on delay tells when changing between loops? Um, actually, yes, that's possible. Hey, Joe Jowers. How you doing, man? Haven't seen you for ages. Well, actually, no, it was Christmas, wasn't it? At the MLF party. Um, Alfred Lentz in the song mode, also for iOS, yes. Uh, yeah, cura yeah, curation is super important. I think that's going to be the game changer, game changer for us. Because right now, you know, when you when you open the app, uh, you might be listening to riffs by um, someone who's making their first riff, or you might be listening to a riff by like Stevie J, who has David Bowie's teeth. Um, <laughs> um, uh, I have not found a way to sample the teeth yet. Okay. That is my Kickstarter. <laughs> my Kickstarter is um, sample my teeth, and um, yeah, I'm looking for a hundred thousand pounds. My stretch target is um, to sample my nostrils. <laughs> nice. Anyway, as you were, <laughs> uh, Clostrophil. Yeah. So, so actually, um, nice little true fact. So, so endless beta hardcore crew will know about this. And there was actually this kind of forking jams into a new jam thing. Um, uh, so we actually had that working at some point, but it really it made the user interface really complicated and really confusing. So we actually took it out um, just because we, uh, it's more, it was more important for us to render to be really, really simple to kind of get your head around first. But uh, that it's a very often requested feature and it will find its way back in. Is Interrap Audio Wireless near or far? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, well it, in terms of being on the list for the iOS stuff and just to be clear um, the Kickstarter we're focusing the Kickstarter very much specifically on the desktop side of it um, but obviously there's a bunch of cross-platform stuff and on, on iOS there are specific iOS things like interrap audio um, audio units I'd say and this is not I'm not committing to this at all because we haven't fully started investing investigating this yet, yet but I think in terms of like Plugging into the rest of the iOS ecosystem, the first thing we're probably going to do is like hosting AU V3s in Endless. That's probably the first thing we're going to do. But again, not committing to that. But that's like that's the plan at the moment. Um, uh, wondering if it would be possible to take channels from separate wrists and create new composite. Also, another thing that often gets asked about. Yeah, I mean that would be. Uh, it's it's another thing on the list. Um, it would be nice to have a mode in a looper where you can decide if you want to sync your loop to the riff. Ah? Uh, I don't actually... I'm not sure I understand that, Neil. So Ender should be an AU V3 plugin. So what's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> not, uh, uh, airspeed velocity. Um... This is airspeed, not ground speed. I, I don't know. I'm guessing three meters per second. That's quite fast, isn't it? Anyway, I don't know. Um, does Endless app exist for Android? Not yet. We want to do. We want to do this Android thing. Um, it's. We're like basically getting audio apps to work really well for Android is really, really hard. Um, and we've got some friends, we do have some friends who've done it. Uh, and I'm talking to a couple of people who, who could do it. And I think, you know, it, again, it's one of these things that like, if we absolutely smash our Kickstarter, um, you know, if we kind of bust through our funding goal uh, many times, then we can basically, uh, as part of that, we can just bring someone in and say, look, please, just make this work on Android. Um, uh, but, but yeah, so basically we want to do it. Um, it is uh, fraught with problems, um, uh, but people have managed to do it. Um, so, you know, we're, we're on it, we're on it. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, um, you've seen, you've seen the, uh, uh, now cost to fill. How about when people join up to Endless, they get a targeted sample pack to what sort of music games and tempo they would likely, yeah, I mean that, so, I mean that, that's like, that sort of like ninja, uh, machine learning, AI kind of stuff. Um, I, you know, in a few years time, I, I, you know, maybe we'll get to stuff like that where we can re you know, we can sort of predict what kind of stuff people will be into and then serve them up the right kind of sound pack, but, uh, or a short, yeah, short questionnaire. Yeah, totally. Um, CNG 303, Tim, where can I buy the sweater you're wearing? Okay. Uh, right. Okay. So here's another thing. Do you want merch as part of the Kickstarter uh, rewards? Chat, what do you say to that chat? Hell yeah, says Echolox. I mean, I guess I kind of knew, <laughs> kind of knew what the answer, like merch or no merch. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, I walked straight into that one, didn't I? <laughs> okay, okay, so we'll find, it. Uh, what we might do, so we've we've got a few people kind of helping us out with this Kickstarter campaign. Um, uh, some really really great people. I mean, if you're doing, a, if you ever think about doing a Kickstarter campaign, I'd really recommend getting in touch with Nuke, N U U K. Um, they're like they're kind of a they a sort of consultancy for for crowdfunding, but they are so ninja and so knowledgeable about this stuff. Um, and they put us in touch. They put us in touch with Kickstarter. They put us in touch with this company called Backer Kit, um, who do uh, fulfilment for merch and stuff like that. Um, anyway, sorry, I'm missing loads of questions about um, sorry, uh, um, endless pants, endless pants. MG Shoy, wow, that's next level. Um, I can't send my movie to my friends who has Android. Hey, um, Ewok78, yes, you can send the movie. The movie will work, so you can you can export the movie. Uh, I don't know, you can export the movie from Endless and send it to your friends on Android. That will play anywhere, but you just you won't be able to jam directly with your friends on Android. Um, endless tents. Oh, wow. Okay, this whole merch thing, this merch thing, guys, it's out of control. I'm gonna jam with Stevie J for a bit. Sorry. I've just been getting carried away doing like. Uh... Well, as long as you're happy, I just feel a bit bad. I said, uh, Stevie, oh, could you I'm come and? Perfectly, I'm just, you know, I'm just listening in. I'm one of the, <laughs> I'm one of the, the faithful that love hearing about this stuff because it's all coming, and I'm well, excited. Yeah. You know. Okay, cool. As long as I, I, I felt a bit bad. I, I basically said, Stevie, oh. can you come and jam with me on tonight's stream? Uh, and then basically Stevie is just doing a, the Stevie show while I'm talking about. It's quite all right, Tim. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Good. Chill. It's good. It's all good. Uh, repeat, can, um, any thoughts on an in-app friends list that shows who is online inviting? Yes, uh, from inside the app. Yes, all this kind of stuff is is coming. Basically, um, building this stuff uh, in a really scalable way, uh, in a really nice way, uh, just takes time. Um, but that all all this stuff is like curating. So you know, a feed, friends list, following, curating, song modes, liking. Uh, being able to find jams, being able to invite people to jams within the app without having to go out to a website and log in to redeem an invite, oh, and like all this stuff, it's in the list. Like we want to do all of it as soon as possible, and and of course that will also work um, inside. E everything that happens in the in the mobile app in this kind of like convenient way will also um, you'll be able to do all of it inside the uh, you know Endless Studio inside the desktop and the VST. So. Uh, how about the ability to change tempo without changing pitch? So, whoa! Thanks, Shlomo. SK Shlomo. Big ups to SK Shlomo. Uh, beat, beatbox extraordinaire. Um, and so I was gonna, I was gonna describe you as a philanthropist, not the philanthropist, but philanthropist in the, like the Latin meaning of the word phil anthropy, as in the phil, <laughs> the love of anthropy, humans. He's a man who loves humans. Um, it's really interesting this. So uh, I'm going to go on a bit of a reverie about like the the, the history of Endless. Um, basically, when we were putting it all together, um, before we'd actually even finished it and put it in anyone's hands, we were like, "Oh man, we're going to have to have time stretching." Basically, changing the speed without changing the pitch, or changing the pitch without changing the speed, um, because that's like the norm. You know, that's what Ableton does. That's what and all live looping things do these days. 
Um, and that, I mean, if you're if you're if you're a nerd, that kind of stuff is hard. It's mathsy and difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, very few people ask for that. Um, so we're probably actually not going to do that for for quite some time, um, just because once you get into that game, the audio quality suffers, um, and also the amount of processing power suffers. So especially if you're going to get it running on a mobile app, um, to get it doing doing that time stretching stuff will like use so much CPU juice that there's a whole other stuff, a bunch of stuff we won't be able to do. We might even have to take out of the app to get that working. So anyway, uh, uh, he does love humans. Yes, he does. Mm, send a modulation signal to another collaborator and LFO their jam. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Will one subscription work on both platforms? Yes, uh, yes. So MG Shoy, uh, subscriptions are uh, cross-platform. Um, so if you get um, Endless Studio Lifetime, you get all of Endless for your lifetime or our lifetime. Obviously, we still have to be in business, <laughs> um, and you know, fingers crossed. Uh, we, you know, well, it's looking pretty good now. Uh, people seem to be liking it. So, um, hey, I loved like old school glitched out pitch downs in Sony Acid. Yeah, it's tape like. Yeah, it's tape. It's tape like. I mean, it's. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see, like, whether we get this request more for um, uh, AM and FM synthesis. Are so yes, jam modulation. <laughs> I'm trying to use my desktop for pitch and time stretching. Yeah, well, man, that's that's the thing. Like, um, you know, if you want to do that, if you want to do that pitch shifting stuff, I mean, you know, Ableton is really, really good at that, and you know, it's kind of. It doesn't really make sense for us to try and kind of out Ableton Ableton because Ab you know we'll never out Ableton Ableton and Ab Ableton is amazing uh, and you know we're we're sort of here to um, like provide a separate world uh, that kind of um, interfaces with your Abletons and your Pro Tools and your Cubases and um, your Logics and your Euro Racks and your Korg Volkers and your guitars and your Stevie J's and David Bowie's teeth. Uh, <laughs> I see a theme. <laughs> There's a theme. Ableton, uh, will you be selling out? <laughs> no, no, I, no. <laughs> will we be selling out to Ableton next week? No, no, well, no. Well, certainly not next week, anyway. That I can guarantee. <laughs> um, uh, like human bands, um, Add some gran yeah, I mean granular. I can't wait for the granular synthesis to come. Honestly, I've got uh, there's a whole bunch of like DSP algorithm algorithms that I was working on basically before I got totally consumed with running endless. Um, and yeah, some really some juicy kind of gra yeah granular feed granular feedback sort of cross between granular and car plus strong, and I'd love to get that stuff in here. So the sample presets are quite grand. Yes, they are sort of granular-ish. I mean, you know, they they loop, um, which in a sort of granular-ish way. But we can do we can do better granular than we have done granular so far. Yes. So arpeggiator, um, Joe Jowers on point as ever. Uh, um, yeah, arpeggiators, arpeggiators, chord uh, chord generators. Well, all those like play assistants, stuff like that, um, you know, generative stuff, that's in there. That is in there, okay, that's kind of a stretch goal thing we're thinking of doing. Um, a fill function. Shape noise. What do you mean by a fill function? Uh, she's okay, the fun function ended with a push. Do we get to see some, okay. The Suave Studio, sorry, yeah, it's the Suave Studio, so I was actually playing the push earlier. I'll do, okay, I'm gonna do a little set, um, hold the questions for a sec. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a play on the push to show uh, at least Swell Studio and anyone else who has only just recently joined. Uh, yes, Endless will be usable with Machina, most definitely. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. Ah, I have a little girl who's come to say hello. 
<laughs> nice hats there, Tim. Thanks. Mm. Thanks, man. Not, well, not, I mean, beautiful, beautiful guitar lick there. So, um, yeah, note repeat would be super cool. Uh, so yeah, quick through, quick walk through of um, how the, the push mapping works. So this is Ableton Push controlling Endless running on macOS at the moment it's, as a standalone. Um, obviously it is going to be a plugin as well, it's going to be a VST and an AU, but we will also support um, basically any, any mainstream MIDI controller like NI Machina, um, the launch pads, and the APC controllers, um, all of that will be supported. Um, and uh, uh, so, so, so here I've got some. I've dialed up some effects here. Um, and I'm just putting some effects on that little uh, synth line that I made, and I loop that here like that. So this is kind of for the benefit of the the Swell Studio. Um, oh, the acrobatic pencil spin. Yeah, I, I perfected that at the age of uh, 14, I think, and it's never left me. Um, was the question asked about swing? Oh, the swing, swing I'm... yes. Yeah, I, actually, yeah, that, that's in the backlog. It keeps on kind of floating up to the top, and then, and then it's just like, oh, no, we need to make our servers work. Uh, and then it floats down <laughs> to the bottom. Then it floats back up to the top, and then it's just like, no, 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 we need to make the logins work. And then it goes down to the bottom, and then it floats up to the top. Of, yeah, it's one of those ones where people are finding workarounds. I mean, you turn the quantize off and have a go with the drums, it's fine. Or else you can bring in yeah. the loops from external, and it's it's yeah. it's cool. But it just would be nice to. It would. Yeah, yeah. Get a little bit away from that rigid sixteen thing. Yeah, it would. Uh, so look, a quick, quick kind of uh, push dive in. So up here, you know, we see we, everything's like mapped to the screen. So you can, I'll just like mute all the layers here. So you've got the layer mutes up here. Um, and then you've got rotary controls for the for the gains, so and you've got kind of like infinite gain on each channel, um, and oh no, I've killed the audio engine. Now that's really embarrassing, isn't it? Okay, uh, <laughs> I might actually have to restart it now. Live on air. Yes. Um, yeah, this is actually a little um, bug that we need to iron out in the desktop thing. But basically, if you um, so we've got these, we've got these, these infinite gains um, that when you, uh, when you turn up, you can turn up these layers as much as they're not working now because I've just, uh, I'm just restarting endless. Um, but if you, you can turn up the layer of a single loop, um, like as, uh, as much as you want to turn it up. And then once it gets to like, once you get out of headroom, it just basically starts turning everything else down. Um, it's alpha, you get it. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Well, yeah, no, this is definitely, I mean, this isn't even the alpha version. You know, the alpha version, uh, we're, we're looking to ship um, probably December this year. Um, uh, so if you get the Endless Studio lifetime package on Kickstarter, uh, you'll get the alpha version um, probably around December this year. And uh, the alpha version will be, I mean, be more fully featured than this and um, more reliable than this, but you know, it won't necessarily be completely finished. And then we'll be shipping the beta versions kind of spring next year, and then it'll go on official release like summer, summer next year. Um, so, right, it's, here we are, we're back in, gonna boot up my jams, Stevie J by Timmy. Okay, so here we are, we're back. Um, so obviously, it, one of the really nice things about Endless is that like, you don't have to worry about data safety ever. <laughs> like ever, ever, ever. Even if it crashes, like everything is just there. And when it boots back up, um, uh, it's saved. And it's not just saved on your local device, it's saved in the cloud uh, and it's synced to all your devices and all your jammers and so on. So you just jump in and out of your music making whenever you, uh, uh, whenever you want to do it really. Um, whether you're on your phone or you're on, in your big studio. Um, so what I was showing you is like the layer mixes. So say I've got this bass here, I'm just going to turn this bass up. Um, I'm going to be a little careful with this time because I know that there is that bug that you can get like. But you can see, so the bass is really loud now, but it's, it's kind of like pushing everything else, pushing everything else down. So in effect, I'm actually like 
I've no, I'm no longer turning up the bass, I'm just like muting everything else out. Um, but then I can skip back to another riff, skip back to that one, and you're just back to the old levels. Um, but if, say what, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that again. Um, and this time I'll, I'll save the riff with those new levels as a new riff. Uh, and then I'll, again, skip back to the old version. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, I can't quite like this one. So that's another thing, you know, you, can, you don't have to always like add stuff in Endless. Um, you, can, you, you can just like, like mix stuff in and out. Um, so particularly if you're in uh, this clip mode here. Um, so in clip mode, I've actually got all the riffs. So I've got the entire history here. I can just browse right. Um, so this is like right back in time. Um, Um, anyway, Steve has just done something new, so Sorry, he's got... No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll still have more than eight bars, eight bars looping. So, sorry, okay, yeah, chat, I'm, going, I'm back now. I'm back to answering questions. Um, uh, we'll still have more than eight bars looping. Um, I don't, yeah. I haven't really thought about that, to be quite honest. Um, and the plan is that, um, that for now at least, it will have uh, just exactly the same looping paradigm um, as the mobile app has. But if you're if you're an endless nerd, you'll know that um, uh, you can actually you can put the bar length bar length up to 16 bars. So effectively, that's 32 bars of 4/4. Four, four. Uh, so there are ways around it. Ah, um, oh, okay, we're eight loops. Oh, okay, no, no, right. The underrated magic of stripping layers away. It is underrated. I, I I built an entire career out of never stripping loops away. <laughs> uh, uh, look, look what happened to that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, There's one of those endless uh, freaky magic moments where I just did a buzz on the bass and it turned into a drum fill. Oh, so here it comes. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's nice. actually the bass. That's cool. I love it when that happens. Yeah. Um, what's my favourite sound in Endless? Um, actually, I, I don't, because the, the current build on here doesn't have the latest sounds that Tarpinian did, but I think uh, I am a big fan of... Oh, it's, oh hang on. The... In here... Um, what's it called? Underbelly, yeah. Mating called Underbelly. Underbelly. Just that proper, like, thick, detuned synth. Those sounds um, are great. Tarpinian did an amazing oh, job on that really, whole. Yeah, they're really good. They're yeah. really good. Really we've got, awesome. We've got two new packs incoming quite soon. Not sure. Basically, it just depends on when we get the next build out and when it gets approved by Apple. But um, in the next, I don't know, I don't want to commit, but 10 days, within the next 10 days, probably going to be sooner, there, there's going to be two more packs if you're an infinite subscriber. Oh yeah, so here's, here's a good point to make. Um, the, the subscription packages and the lifetime packages and you know whatever you end up going for in the Kickstarter, um, that those will start once we, once we, ship, once we ship the software. So um, it won't start immediately after, um, after the Kickstarter campaign. It'll start like once we ship the software because basically we have to put in all the infrastructure to uh, to, to handle all that stuff. That's one of the things that we're going to build. Uh, that's one of like the, the bigger bits of work that we're going to do as part of the Kickstarter. So, um, uh, so yeah, it's, so basically don't, <laughs> if you're an infinite subscriber, don't cancel your infinite subscription uh, now, until, we ship, until we ship it. Um, <laughs> thank you. So I, I, um, um, I loaded the release and it has no packs. Um, uh, new, but can Endless work as a plugin machine with machine? Uh, yeah, so Angle Maker. That, well, that's basically what Endless Studio is. So that's what we're running the Kickstarter campaign for. So uh, we basically built all of Endless. We built the uh, like the backbone of it, the the, the code base, um, all the core functionality, and what we're doing now is you know raising some money on Kickstarter to turn it into a plugin. So you will be able to run it within Machina. So you'll be able to like make beats in Machina. Um, then like send beats to your collaborators and they can like remix it 
live in Machina, send it back. Um, likewise, any any D, any DAW basically, um, anything anything that runs plugins, you'll be able to just drop the endless VST plugin or AU plugin on it and uh, collaborate with people um, from your um, from your plugin host in exactly the same way that you collaborate with people from your mobile device. Um, has a basic. Um. Wilco, thanks for joining us. Um, it's a ple yeah, just big big ups to all the all the endless hog the endless elders, I think, as uh, as they're called on the Discord now. Um, uh, just massive, massive thank you to all of you. you know, you've made this place a beautiful place to be. Uh, you've made some incredible music, and you know, uh, I think I was, I was just saying to a few people a few months ago, it's like, uh, you know, we're just we just built a door. Um, no, a, a D O O R, <laughs> and you went through it and built a world. A world. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, we're just uh, couldn't be happier uh, and more grateful for what's happened around all this stuff. You know, it's like you know, just planted a little seed. I mean, it's a pretty complicated seed that has taken like four four years of blood, sweat, and tears, but still. <laughs> It's just a seed, uh, and it requires soil and water and, you know, tending and sunlight, and that's what all you lot bring, and that's amazing. Uh, so, thank you. Um, uh, oh, bless you, Ewok. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, you know. Uh, I mean, it's what, it's what we're here for, isn't it? It's what we're here for. Um, so shape noise, what? Uh, could BM3 use it to, what? I don't actually know, I don't actually know what BM3 is, Angle Maker. Um, oh yeah, shape noise, if, if you have any trouble with stuff, yeah, do just try, there's a few things. If you run into problems with Endless, oh, Beatmaker 3, as in like iOS. iOS app, right, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah, so, <clears throat> um, at some, at some stage, yeah, so, the first thing, probably, and I'm, I'm not going to commit to this because I haven't cleared it with the dev team yet. Um, we haven't investigated, we haven't looked at the effort that's involved and we haven't scheduled it as a task, which you, we need to do for the sanity of our developers who are working incredibly hard to make everything work. But that said, the plan, the first thing that we're going to do in terms of like iOS um, cross compatibility is uh, hosting AUV3s in Endless, basically. So you can you can go here. So it'd probably be like you swipe across here, and there'll be an AUV3 hosting. Hit that, load up your plugin, and then play your plugin here in Endless, and then loop it like that. That's that kind of idea. Um, uh, and then um, we, then we could you know we could look at. Endless itself being an AUV3 uh, plugin, um, but I think it's probably going to be the other way around first. Probably, but no committing because I haven't cleared that. As I, yeah, as I said, I haven't cleared that with the dev team, um, and I owe them the deepest debt of respect and gratitude, and not committing them to doing stuff that they uh, haven't been given a chance to like fully investigate. Um, currently running two iPads being three. Yeah, I mean, so this is a, this is a hack. I think quite a lot, like most our um, hardcore endlessers have two copies of Endless, uh, like linked on Ableton Link, and they're piping stuff in. So, uh, like, massive props to people for being ingenious and making uh, making it work when you know we still haven't got this functionality in there ourselves. You want reggae? A stereo? Ah, okay. <clears throat> mm, so yeah, stereo audio input might be coming quite soon, that's all I'm going to say. We might, we might have even done it, all we're going to say. Um, might not have fully tested it, might not have fully tested it though. Um, so yeah, um, any moment now, any moment now, stereo input. I know that's been a biggie, it's been a biggie for a while. <coughs> Shuffle mode, yep. Um, yeah, stereo, <laughs> yep. I thought I thought that would make I thought that'd make them happy. Team stereo. <laughs> uh, oh, this this is beautiful stuff, Stevie. 
Uh, I'm just chilling away here. Oh, it's lovely. It's magical. It needs destroyed by the exile. No, I needs. can't. I can't. I don't have. I don't have an Emmy. 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 Panning. Yeah, panning. That's actually. That. That's another one of these things that's kind of been in the backlog and has floated very close to the top. Um, basically, an effect where that's got like volume up and down and then pan left and right on the XY pad. Oh, hallelujah! That would be amazing. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, back background audio also in the backlog. <laughs> There's all this stuff. <laughs> all this stuff in the backlog. Um, basically, uh, in a nutshell, I'm just going to put it out there. Back us on Kickstarter. Um, give, <laughs> give us as much money as you can. Uh, the more money we get on Kickstarter, the more people we can hire, the quicker we can move stuff, the more stuff we can ship out. The, the, you know, that, basically. Basic, basically that. <laughs> um, so direct sampling into the sampler. Yes, 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 yes. Purple backwards music. Yeah. Um, should we should we open up should we open up the jam should we should we share the the jam link? Hell yeah! Yeah. Get those people in. Yeah. Okay. Actually, how are we going to do this? Although, do you want to do riff of the week before or after? Oh, oh blimey! I, it's getting on, isn't it? I mean, I've got I've got a very I've got a bit of a short list, and I've got a winner. Oh right. Okay. Um, so. we should we should do this. Um, chat. What do you what do you say? What do you say? Uh, do we um, open up the jam? To the, oh, okay, no. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take control. I'm taking control. What I suggest is um, we do riff of the week now. We, we've got we've now got a shorter riff of the week format. Stevie has picked some shortlist and a winner, um, and then maybe let's open up the jam. Yeah, there are so many good ones. Um, I propose just actually giving... There have been some incredible new talent this week. I mean, like, mm. really seriously good. It's incredible, um, yeah. Hannah, in particular. Yeah. They, all of a sudden, we've got, like, this amazing, cool Scandi Vox showing up, and it's, it's like, incredible. awesome. Um, Loop. I have had an amazing time jamming with Loop in Warsaw. Mm. Uh, very groovy guy. Great bass player, stuff like that. It's been really good fun. Some amazing stuff from the old heads, M. Lily 2002, amazing stuff. Some great team ups of some new and old people, which has been lovely to see, mm. like the, the, the hookup earlier on. So, um, how do you want to do this? Because. Yeah, I didn't really I've think just, this through, to be honest. I've a whole bunch of times. I could just tell you my winner straight up if you want. Go on. I, I, um, I, I think I can guess what it is, but you. Well, you... I, don't, I don't know. I don't, the winner is one that appeared on Monday at 0329. Um, and it involves Luke Sleepwalker, Django, can get it. It's just like, how are these guys? It's, it's, there were a couple of amazing things that happened last week, which is structure. Like, Luke put together these things and they have long sections, you know, like A, B oh, sections. Okay. Yeah, really, yeah. really cool. Okay. Um, big shout should... out to Luke. So, I've got a whole ton of stuff. I can, pro I'll post it up on, uh, I'll throw it on the Discord, my sort of okay. picks of the week. But that, that, is, the, that is my winner. Okay. So, should we play, should we play that one? Yeah, play that play, one. I tell you what, I'm, what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give you a bit of a um, an orc send back, so you can actually hear directly. Yeah, what I I'm can't playing. hear anything. I can't hear what you're doing. Uh, I think you uh, should be able to. Oh, uh, is that playing? I can hear it now. Yeah, you can hear it? Yeah, yeah, I can hear that. Um. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a riff of the week, as chosen by our Stevie J. Just kind of genre-free, cool. It's got vocals, it's got drums, it's got electric. Yeah. I, th I think... It's so cool. It's, I mean, so, it's cool. So, so cool. It really got me. Um, I, I tell you what, I tell you what I've been loving this week is just the, the, the like, resurgence or the arrival of real instruments. There's been, there's been yeah, drums, fine. there's been guitars, there's been, there's whole jams that haven't had any electronic sounds in them whatsoever. whatsoever. And yep, that... And another a shout for the but there's sort of a post rock vibe um yeah. Echolox, alfred um and loop sleep uh, again luke sleepwalker adding some cool vocals he did an amazing thing actually um 
over a track by Alfred on Wednesday. I'll, I'll throw these on the Discord and just throw some mm. notes up because there's so many good things. Uh, I picked about sort of 10 or 15. There were a couple of really good sideways ones as well. But anyway, I picked that as my winner. Nice. Um, nice. Second Congrats. place was, uh, there you go. So that was my winner. Um, mm. I'll put the rest up on Discord and we can have a chat about oh, can, them. Come on, can we can play a few more. Share. Can we can play a few more? Oh yeah, okay, great. Yeah. Well, that's that's really good. If you want to wind back to, um, let's let's listen to one of Loops from Thursday, o two twenty three. Again, this is just like a funky groove, and they put together this whole structure vibe, and it's not like you know a four bar loop. Um, this has been crafted. It's all in one big long, probably a sixteen right. four reception, thing like that. Thursday, you go on Thursday, o two twenty o two twenty three. It's Loop and N J Lang, who's been doing some great stuff this week. Um, oh, and I just love it because it's got it's just this mm. kind of whole AB section thing. I mean, you know me, I'm I'm more likely to. Yeah. Do okay. It. Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. It's like dance, Louis. You know what I mean? And then. Yeah. B section. Yeah. With a hard. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna indulge in a reverie very briefly once this has played out. Listen. <laughs> Come on. This is, new, this is next level stuff right there. It is it really is next That's level stuff. That's in one riff though. That is not a riff off. Yeah, no, it's one single riff. That is. Yeah, th- I mean, there's been there's been chat like let it be said. There's been chat. No, I think I mentioned this about um, an endless record label. Uh, we have to, we have to do this. I mean, there's the stuff is so good that the standard's so high. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to st- scrap my reverie. And my reverie is um, irre- irre- revere irrelevant. fourth. Revere fourth, there, man. I mean, you're amongst you're amongst the faithful. It's just after Easter. I mean, it's come a, on. It's it's, it's, it's <laughs> the moment's past. It's not an interesting oh. story. It's just a it's a. It's a boring, like, when it was a university story, you know. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I will, what I will do is I will indulge a little later in the Discord. I will no, post on, everything. Uh, oh, you some... want some more? You want yeah. some more, right? Okay, let's get in. I had a couple, there were a couple of really nice sideways vibes. Um, try this one, Saturday, 1836. This is a nice, um, this is a lovely, uh, this might be groovy again, though. I, I'm not sure. 1836. The Zem Lily 2002, Echolox, Hannah, Noel Lehman, and CNG 303. Um, 18... It's probably another. It's probably so, another 1826, one. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hannah vocals. How cool yeah. is that? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to jump in and play one after this. I'm going to play my. If I was picking Riff of the Week. Yeah, but it, I mean the standard is just insane. yeah. It's it's gone through. It's been amazing. It's actually been brilliant. Yeah, but honestly, yeah, that. it's bonkers. I, I th- like this is why I can't wait until we've got a feed and this stuff. Like this stuff should be the stuff that people hear when they land an endless. I yeah. mean, no, no disrespect Duration. to yeah, like. No dis- Absolutely. No disrespect to, to people who are just figuring it out and going like, because that's fun and that's cool and that's kind of why it's there, but yeah. you need to be able to see. It's, it's, yeah, the curation vibe is, um, there is a lot of really good stuff, really good people. It's amazing to be in the same platform as these people. It's um, There were some really good heavy beats as well. Interceptor 101, TPJ, some really good heavy Ooh, yeah. grooves going on and a killer gonna... one by Ludi in Friday 743. Um I'm, just trying Hazel, to find... I'm going to call him Hazel Helmet because I just love that. <laughs> um, it's probably not Hazel Helmet, but he did a call of great grooves um, last week as well. I'm just going to post them on Discord. You pick yeah. your one of the week and then. Uh... Yeah, where is it go? Where is it gone? Yeah. I literally, me, me and Alex, my, me and my girlfriend Alex, we've we've been listening to this on loop, um, like uh, nonstop. I had to scratch. I had to scratch the word when out twice. Um, because this is the problem. I listened to these grooves and I was going through and I'm going, oh, that's got to be the winner. It's too good. And then mm. you hear something else that's amazing. Um, yeah, this one. This one it, This one is my riff of the week. This one. Oh, yes. That's amazing. Homunculus. Yes, yeah. that's okay, that was That was a win. I, I, lo- I just love that sec- it's got this, these like three sections to it. And now it seems yeah. into, and you've got Hannah, this kind of like reversed sort of like, 
Yeah, it's, like Liz it's Fraser one. kind of thing going on. Um, that, and one, then... that one was when? Sunday 312, right? Yeah. And, oh, that is stunning. Yeah, could be a could be a joint man. Could we do a joint win. But no, I mean it's no, it's your it's your riff of the week. It's your it's your choice the, the, this week. The other, so the other not... one the other one is nowhere near as slick as that, but there was just something about it that I just loved mm. how kind of angular and cool it was. Mm. I, and again, fe Hannah featuring in all of these uh, mm. winning contenders, really cool to see her vibing. And actually, it's just been uh, just so good, just so good. Mm. Right. So um, I'll stick the rest on Discord. We can all uh, we can all indulge in the we can indulge in yeah. the celebrating yeah lots of people. Um, mm -hmm. The sideways riff of the week I think goes to there was a really good one, amazing one by Theo. But I'll post I'll post these up in Discord. Well, here's here's my sideways one of the week. Yeah, um, it was wed last Wednesday, eleven fifty eight. You'll need to go all the way back. It was by Alfred Sefferman Dialect. Wednesday. Some really, really good stuff oh, by no. Dialect actually. A dialect. Uh, it's written by Dialect. Wednesday. What was the time on Wednesday? Uh, eleven fifty-eight. Eleven fifty-eight. And uh, yeah, it was right, sort of very go. yeah. This is really sideways, but it's lovely. Ooh, check it out. Oh yeah. Love that. So that was my contender. There was the second was one by. But the winner of Sideways one of the week was M Lily 2002, Thursday 1925. Thursday 1925. So cool. So cool. Um, so great to see all these new names in there, man. I have to say. Easy, yeah. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. The kind of um, Rastanoton. So good. Jam. Yeah, so no, good. I did. I, I really enjoyed this one. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I kind of, reminds me of. Um, do you, do, 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 do you have, uh, yeah. I drop at the end of the movie. Did you ever go to Sonar Festival, Stevie? In Barcelona, I did. Yeah. I played at it with Air. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that when it, when the Day Festival was still, um, Pretty... still in the like in the art uh, museum? Uh, I I can't remember. I think it was somewhere near. I can't remember where it was exactly. It wasn't in the. I can't. I just can't remember. It was a long time ago, my friend. Two thousand seven. Right. I was playing with Eric. Oh right, no, that yeah, that still would have been. That still would have been in the. Um, uh, blah, 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 in the art, the, the art museum. Unless you were playing the night venue, which you might have been actually, if it was being yeah, a big band. Night, like yeah, it. Was it, it was by the sea somewhere. That's all I remember. It was somewhere by the sea. Really? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I'm sure we played Sonar with them, but maybe not. Mm. Yeah, I remember I played it. Anyway, I, I think that's brilliant by Emily. Too, it's um, yeah. it's been, a, been a fair bit of chat about trying to get, you know, more structure and longer riffs and riff hopping yeah. and getting all that kind of stuff. That's all tying up with those other conversations about song structure and yeah. all coming. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. It is, yeah. But, I think it's... But yeah, the... Yeah, as, as, long as, as long as it doesn't get... I, I think, like, when when we first started building Endless, I was, I was quite militant about, like, no, there will only be riffs. There will never be structures. Structures are evil. You know. What are you, Dalek? When you come <laughs> up with it? <laughs> um, but uh, but but now, I think the the, the main point is because I think I, I had a I had a bone to pick. I had an axe to grind. I had a chip on my shoulder about um, all the time that I spent in uh, my studio making records and just getting like tangled up in my own narcissism about how good it had to be and spending far too long. And I was just, anything that makes anything that pulls you into that kind of process is bad. But, but actually, uh, you know, documenting stuff and you know, if there's if there's an arrangement tool where you can just like it's not too complicated and, and you can get arrangement going um, in uh, you know just like a couple of minutes. Uh, um, okay, so actually, uh, let me a bit of a secret. There is a bit of a prototype of this floating around somewhere. We've, we've had some. Pro I've got some prototype stuff. Just exports. Uh, and I see that you it's pretty going there. cool. It's Come pretty on. cool. But I think the, the, the point is, as long as you don't get sucked into, um, you know, like half an hour of just like, crafting. oh, no, that one, just like crafting it. That's, no, that's the... Yeah, no, that wouldn't be in the spirit at all, would it, really? Yeah. Um, but it's, 
it is interesting because there is a there's a fine line, isn't there? Really, once you get into, I've just posted my attempted riff of the week, and it's thirty hours long. Um, <laughs> yeah. be very good. But it's yeah. interesting how the sort of single riff on those channels is a little bit. You know, it's hard to get into it. You just go listen to it. I was like, okay. But some yeah. of the ones that yeah. develop and they, they evolve a little bit, it's really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah like a it's short... Like, like, yeah, you, just, you just go... It's almost like if you go riff hop, that, 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 and that, and you're done, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Just like so a short, really a short excited, story. Really excited, really excited to see what you guys have been thinking with that, because so far there's uh, barely been a foot wrong, my man. Barely what? been a foot wrong. I don't know. I mean, you just... I don't know about that. Uh, well, it's just you haven't, see, you haven't seen the stuff that we haven't released. <laughs> there's plenty of stuff we've built. Um, I mean, there's, yeah... We uh, what, a few months ago we kind of built this whole um, interface like refactor. And we were just like, yeah, it's going to solve all these problems, and it didn't. <laughs> it really didn't. Um, and but you know, a lot of the time you have to kind of build these things. You know, good ideas seem like good ideas on paper because what you're thinking about, you've got this idea of um, you're projecting how you think you're going to feel mm -hmm. um, when you have that thing. You're not actually. Uh, uh, so you, you create this design and then you imagine just you feeling great using that thing. Um, but it can often be completely disconnected from how it is to actually use that thing. It's a, weir it's a very, very weird process, I, I, I find, like coming up with like so-called good ideas and then realising that they, mm -hmm. they can be miles off. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, the perils of software development. Yeah, well, so far so good as far as I'm concerned because it's feeling great. There you go. Yeah, it's exciting. I, I'm, I'm just excited. Like all these new people, on we've we've got some, also got some exciting conversations going on with some cool people who might potentially come do something with Endless. Some cool people. I can't, I can't, I can't talk about. It. <laughs> Look, you can't you can't be doing that. Excellent. Yeah, no, that's a bit. That is a little bit. Uh, it's naughty. Uh, it is a little bit naughty, actually. It is a little bit no. Crazy. Hopefully you're um, getting some of dog's abuse for that on the chat because yeah. uh, no, I can't see that quite... right now. People are going, oh, who, what? Yeah. Well, no, actually, no, I, well, I can say that, um, so on, uh, so next Tuesday, uh, so week today, um, um, Imogen Heap is going to be back on. It's going to be oh, uh, an hour-long jam, uh, me, me and Immy. We need to start, uh, another thing I'll actually be talking um, about is like, I don't, you know, this shouldn't just be the Tim show. I mean, so far it kind of has, it's like Tim plus someone else. Um, and well, obviously, and then, then there's like a, you know, a sort of an endless band um, together uh, doing, doing a performance together, but all the chat stuff is like me plus someone else. So yeah, it would be good at some point for it not to just be the, the Tim show. <laughs> uh, I so quite like, I like it being a Tim show. Oh, bless just you. Just keep it there for the time being. <laughs> Could be an endless style thing. It starts as the Tim show, but then you know somebody else takes over and so on. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically yeah. I'm just sitting here waiting to be massively upstaged. Timless. <laughs> Timless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so please. Uh, oh yeah, and Wald uh, Yes, yeah. And Waldorf uh, will perform. So, um, so Waldorf or Waldorf um, or W L D R F. Um, they are a group who has kind of showed up on Endus and they've been doing these collaborative live streams where they've been, you know, they've got are four they the of Dutch them. Dudes? Yes, the Dutch, the, the, the Dutch guys. Yeah, really yeah. cool, really cool. Super yep. cool. So, so they're, they're going to be um, part of the stream next week. So that's going to be quite exciting. And um, we've got some other ideas. Well, I, I, hey, why don't we just talk about all these ideas now? Um, <laughs> beat battles. <laughs> I want to talk. I want to talk about beat battles because um, this has been, you know, this is this has taken off recently. You know, obviously, we're in we're in the live streaming era where we can't like reach out and touch each other. Um, sorry, annoying multiple hands. Um, but uh, oh, I confused my <laughs> lost my train of thought now. Um, anyway, yeah, beat, ba beat battles. Um, this is a really big thing. You've got kind of big producers doing. Uh, so-called beat battles and I was thinking uh, you know there, there's definitely been a sort of um, this kind of ethos to endless so far that you know it's collaborative and it's not competitive um, but then I wondered if it would actually be quite fun to just sort of have a you know some kind of beat battle it's set up probably a stream a bit like this um, 
where uh, you know we could have two two people, maybe someone judging, or we or uh, like a panel of judges, or even just like um, you know crap like live polling on Twitter. Ecolox will know this. Ecolox, is it possible to run live polls on Twitch? Excuse me, um, because anyway, that would be cool. But like chat, what what say you? Um, should we do this? Should we set should we set up like um, an endless beat battle? Um, uh, oh, thank you, Paulie. Paulie, Waholi. Uh, oh, chat, chat is reticent. That would be really entertaining to watch, I think. But of course, yes. Um, maybe chat's not into it. Oh, come on, it'd be cool. Bait battles, as opposed to bat beetles, which are terrifying creatures. Yeah, that's a bat beetle. A bat um, beetle. <laughs> a bat beetle. Right, yeah, the bat beetles. Don't don't tell my daughter bat beetles. <laughs> um, it's a funny thing, actually. I I would I think it'd be quite fun. How would you How would you propose that that works? Yeah, I don't Same, know. I was. You know, I, what do you get? Like three riffs to put something together, and then it's like mute it, and I, you know, is it, how how to work? Yeah. Yeah, there'd have to be there'd have to be kind of rules. That, yeah, there'd have to be kind of clear rules to it, and uh, someone with like siren sounds and stuff like hmm. that going like, "Contenders ready," and then you know they go off and make their riffs. Um, uh, play once riff layers. I think a beat battle. Yeah, ten turns then part. Yeah, something like that. I was thinking like f you know five to ten turns. Yeah, and, but was, also a time the... limit. So you've got. Like you've got a, a minute. Maybe that's it. It's like a speed thing. We can uh, have different yeah, right. ones. So you get, what about you get you get like one minute and one minute uninterrupted, and that's it. Yeah. And after one minute, you just get. Well, I was about, I was about to swear on on air. Ooh, um, you get Stevie. kicked off, and yeah. you get kicked off, and the next person gets to do their their thing. It could be like one minute, or I, I actually think a number of riffs within a time limit would be quite cool. So you've got a maximum yeah. number of five riffs, but you've got one minute to do it. Job yeah, done. I th yeah, I that would be that would be pretty cool okay. because then you've no danger of interruption. Yeah, you can get yeah. your riff together as quick as possible, and yeah. then people can evaluate it and go, yeah, that's pretty cool, whatever. And then then you dump it out, export, and it's the next person. You throw it on the we we'll create a Discord channel for it. Yeah. So you do your one minute, you export it, and then you throw yours up as a contender, and then it's on to the next person. Oh right! So it's not even live stream because I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's it's gonna be no, a do, live stream do, thing. Do, do, yeah, live stream it, no problem. But I'm saying in terms of trying to, if you want to get a winner, whatever, it'd be right, quite yeah. cool if you know yeah. the person just did. You've got one minute to put your riff together and get it exported. <laughs> Joe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm in, I'm into this. So what, what what do you say, chat? Five. You've got one minute and five riffs. Um, sounds good to me. I'd so be on for. To, yeah, hmm? yeah. I'd be okay. on for that. That sounds good. Uh, well, let's get... let's get let's let's do this Friday, <laughs> Friday evening. First endless beat yeah. battle. Uh, Winner is the person who makes the other sound better. <laughs> <laughs> nice, but Holy Warley bringing the uh, uh, bringing the I don't know <laughs> love, bringing the love. Um, Chess. Everyone gets five Although, minutes. Uh, can, can we just make? Can we just please make sure that Sephram is nowhere near the board because <laughs> no one can touch that guy. <laughs> anyway, no yeah. one. He's been yeah. quiet of late. I've it, seen him in icy has... drones. Right. Icy yeah. drones has been my kind of hangout this week. I love that. Yeah. Um, with Little Wing and Sephram, and it's just like, oh, great. Yeah. But he's been, you know, he's a mercurial fellow. He's a mercurial fellow. A very he's, talented he's, mercurial he's, fellow. He's, he's floating around, but yeah, beat battles, beware. But that, Bring your A game. That, yeah. But then that's you know actually I've, I suddenly realised now because we um, you know before we we launched you know the 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 elders gathered of of the the endless tribe uh, and I was I very I very much felt like you know th this whole limit of a tribe you can only have 150 people in the tribe for the tribe to be cogent and coherent and stick together and I realised that you know the endless tribe is now way bigger than 150 people uh, and actually now it is in it's like a multi tribe metropolis which is really interesting like so you are getting people like going off into backwaters into different discord servers and setting up different jams and and stuff like that which is which is cool because there's there's a multitude of identities and um but yeah beat battles i think so yeah okay who knows where that can go guitar competitions you know shredder Shredsville. Oh, man, so much. There, there's, the possibilities are. Yeah, you know, we're looking for the guitar heroes. 
And there's still not that yeah. many guitarists around. Oh, was just, there was some nice guitar by <laughs> Benjamin in earlier on. That. Oh, I love yeah. that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was yeah. good. Nice yeah. little acoustic y thing. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Luca. My son has appeared looking for ice cream. Standard 14 year old behavior. There we go. Oh, excellent. Can I have yeah. some of his ice cream? <laughs> Can Tim have some? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I've got. We just anyway. had, we, we we managed to we managed to get an Ocado delivery. I don't I don't know. Is that even bad? Is that a bad thing to be taking? But <sighs> no, I, the, the deliveries are really good. The click and collects are really good. Um, just are, the click and collects are really impressive because you just drive your car up. You drive into a thing oh, and people right. put stuff in the boot. You don't even get out of your car. It's like right. It's like, oh, your car wash. Yeah, okay. um, and to me, that is like it's really good. The, the, the stores are doing an amazing job, I have to say. Just to yeah, keep the things yeah, going. But the, the deliveries, deliveries, yes. Click and collects, yes. Going to the shops, hmm, yeah. That's probably, probably yeah. the least yeah. preferable thing. You got an Ocado one, man. I thought there was a, like a four year waiting list for. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, Alex Alex just logged on and uh, and there was a delivery slot. She logged on last night and there was a delivery slot. Snot delivery snot this delivery morning. snot De no, this, that's, this that's afternoon fine. yeah delivery snot different well thing. you got a delivery what no hold on you went on last night and you got a delivery today yeah you have got to be kidding me no like I, diane went on and got a delivery for like three weeks time it's it's not crazy i mean but, anyway, well yeah. done that's actually that's actually really good yeah i mean the, the, you know the gods are smiling um, they were they, they're more than smiling <laughs> they were watching i don't know what is the funniest thing in the world <laughs> Oh, uh, for, for, what is the funniest thing in the world? For one thing, I, I mean, this is like total parental <laughs> conditioning, but I was going to say Airplane, the movie. But it's not, it's uh, totally wrong. It's like the most, it's like the most politically incorrect, <laughs> hot, like horrible, toe curling, eye scratching thing. But that used to be, that was, you know, when I was growing up, that was like the benchmark of funny. Yeah, was it as funny as Airplane? That kind of level, yeah. 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 Hmm. No. Excuse me. Well, that's what the gods were watching. The gods were watching <laughs> yeah. Airplane as a kid, and when they got you your Ocado delivery. Anyway, brilliant. Yeah. Let's open the jam up. You should open the oh, jam yeah, up. Let's open the jam up. Let let's, let's open the jam up. With a, with a strict a strict order of destroying it all and making it uh, a bit more cool than my sort of lounge lizard nonsense tonight. Lounge I, just, I was just feeling all very chilled out. I was feeling very Tuesday, and uh, it's been that kind of day, you know. Right, anyway. yeah. No, I've, I've actually, I, I hardly slept at all last night, so I spent most of the day going like, oh, I can't sleep. Um, or I can't, I sort of, you know, you can't sleep, can't be awake. Um, I had that a couple of nights ago because my daughter... Echolox, I just posted the, I just sent you the, uh, the, the jam link in Slack. Sorry, because I'm, I'm, again, I'm not logged into, oh, I probably could do it from here. And, and anyway, I'm sort of talking to people. There you go, Echo, there we go. Jam, jam is open. Get involved. Uh, see if you can take our servers down. I don't actually know how many people. Are, um, I can't see view account, so you know maybe. I somehow doubt we've got like a thousand people watching. <laughs> um, it's all good. It's all good. It's all we've good. got some, and that's. We've brilliant. got some, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, lovely. Well, let's. Uh, should we just just jam out for ten minutes or so? Um, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Thanks oh, for the Very loud. Oh, can you turn the audio off for me? Oh shit, yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I'll go in here instead. Mm. Uh, about 50 watching. That's good. That's a good number. We're, we're, we're consistently, our viewing numbers are just creeping up. How many was it? 50. Oh, that's on, great. 50 on Twitch, and but we're also viewing to YouTube, Facebook, and oh, Periscope, so I don't know. I don't know. I remember back in the days of like six people. Yeah. Feels like a long time ago, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> well. Right, well, let's just, I'm just going to not add anything to this and just going to let people destroy it and turn it into something cool. I really like your hi-hats. Threw some, uh, oh, but threw some, uh, Oh, some ring some mod. Oh, ring mod, mod. slide them around the place. Slide them around that. with the ring mods. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, actually, I should be doing this. Now, I'm going to play this um, from push oh yeah i love that that push thing's mm. awesome it's funny actually like how there's a very slightly different sound between the uh the ipads that's going through the ipad audio and this is going through my um rme baby face like no, sorry oh, audio shape noise. Noise. Shape noise is showing up yay 
and preset. I'm gonna call you preset as opposed to pre five yeah. yet. So that's a yeah. Pre I mean, right. well, that's one of the things that I can't see on on push. I can't actually see who's okay. making the riffs. I just see the riffs coming in. So, ooh. Shape noise. Uh, it's okay, I think it's the same length, it's fine. Oh, another thing, another nice thing about Ableton Push with Endless is that it's velocity sensitive, so I can go. Just showing off now, man. Well, I mean, it's, it's weird. I'm just, I did, I just did a thing because I can do the thing rather than because it was a good thing to do, which is a, a very bad use of technology. Yeah, okay. sixteen hats. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ah, I, I accidentally left the jam. Um, <laughs> Love all that. Uh, um, I just I just bend the eardrop. I'll turn it back on, but I'll do something with it. Yeah. Right. Thirty seconds. Nice wee vocal there. This is less than three sample. <laughs> Just pitch deck locks up. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, it's so good, distorted. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Locks on lead guitar. Poor computer is struggling to do OBS and everything else and endless. Nice. Oh, is that mating call? Has someone mating rocked out the mating so call? Uh, yeah, mating call. Yeah, I actually I don't have because the the um, the current like Ender Studio build doesn't have the new sounds in because we have to branch branch off the, the builds. But I can drop any other sample in I want. So theoretically, it should be. Um, ooh. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's so beautiful. I don't even want to just whack it through saturation. <laughs> Is it part of the sound you're playing being a couple of dB above the gym? 
Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, actually, Shape Noise. Huh? That, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm talking to the chat now. Um, is that working already, or Tim got some beta version? Uh, yeah, so Professor Luke, this is this is basically, it's not even beta, it's not even alpha, it's like an early prototype of Ender Studio, the desktop version um, that I'm using here. But yeah, basically, um, come back us on Kickstarter and get it. <laughs> uh, and help us, like, uh, build more cool stuff and uh, power up this lovely community of amazing, uh, talented people uh, and spread the love. Oh, it's just getting good now. Here we go. It's just beginning to open up. Mm, yeah. Mm, maybe it's time to turn off Quantize. Oh, actually, no, I forgot. No, there is. I can turn Quantize off from Ableton Push, uh, from the controller. favorite things now this is it's really important one of the thing most underused things on endless ever mm. is level turning the level down before you drop a part in T so turn the level I'm down before you drop the part in yes turn the level down so like this how are you how are you supposed to shout over everyone else when you're turning the level down stevie i don't get well, it this is exactly the point so i just dropped in a horde it's extremely quiet. It's That's... quiet. It's just out a bit of noise. A bit of oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, nice. No, just had to turn the and level then, right down. And then I'm turning your horde up. I'm and turning you can, your horde you up right now. Turn up, but then what I can do, but hold on, there's one important thing. And that is that the horde sounds great with distortion. But if it's oh, too yeah. loud to start with, oh, it's dead. Oh, right. okay. So, Sorry, I. Turn it down. No, it's okay. So we listen to this. And then all of a sudden we end with a bit more interesting texture on the bass. Mm. It got overhopped. I'm turning your horde up again. Go for it. I'm turning horde up your processed it. horde. Oh. Oh. Oh, someone's. Oh, you, uh, you Polly Wally would do that. Polly Wally. Polly Wally. A mischief oh, maker. Look at him. Just look at him. It's meeting everything. Wow. Uh, red oh. guys weighing in to see if right. it's. Oh. Oh, we've got some acapellas. Red guys right. weighing in. Come on. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. It's time for me to. Uh, Red Sky, give us a break beat for God's sake, man. Prepare yourselves. I sense a stereo break beat coming. Oh no, that's sorry. I've just done a terrible. <laughs> Hang on, that's terrible. That's terrible. Sorry. <laughs> the thing is, oh, no. Now at it's the, in at there. This riff speed, it's in there. You know, it's in there. You yeah. Can do your, <laughs> you have to live with it, man. You have to live with it. Oh no, that's so embarrassing. Right, I'm gonna try and take it out, and just like <laughs> mute it out. Say no, oh. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Go away, bad drums. Oh no, I'm being punished for my bad drums. <laughs> okay, all right, I give up. <laughs> I'm going this way. Here we go. But not quite the type that you might want on a dotted line sign. Ever since a minor kids right. consider him some kind of Einstein on a diamond mine grind. She was dumb, oh, fine, right, but okay. not quite the type that you might want on a dotted line sign. Ever since a minor kids consider him some kind of Einstein mine grind. She was dumb, fine, but not quite Ooh. The type that you might Come on, Dom, get in with us. <laughs> what is. Oh, man. <laughs> Up. Oh up. man, it, it pleases me. It pleases me to see that my, anybody, even the mighty exile, is prone. <laughs> I am. Uh, see, Polly Wally, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> he's, he's on it. Yeah, he's, he's on good. It. 
He's it's got, got a, a bit of a kind of like intergalactic planetary, planetary, you know. I can't reach this. Trying to reach an octave below that, but I can't. It's going very sideways, which I like. Oh, CNG 303. Some good stuff from you this week, man. It's getting madness. It is. I just have to sit out and watch when it gets this. Yes. This busy, <laughs> yeah. Because I'm like, a, I'm or, a sort of like. Or this is this is where pile you just in, like. Pile in, man. You just pile in. Pile in. Oh, um, that that's bloody. That's cool part. Very cool. Yeah, actually, I was going to destroy everything, but I'm not. I'm not now. Right, actually, if there's a bit of stripping back going on, that could actually be pretty. Wow, this is madness. It is the last time. It is madness. It's, uh... This is, yeah, a mess. As Clayt here points out, this is a mess. It's a beautiful mess. Yeah. Right, I'm going to very rarely do this, but turn autoplay off. I've splattered. I can have a listen. No, I've no, splattered everyone. You splattered everyone? Yeah. Well, no, I've, I've been I've, I've been overwritten. <laughs> Actually, this is... Okay, we've got some sanity back now. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're, now we're, now we're cooking. I like that. That's good. Nice. Uh, it's source, yeah. Um, we'll support all all main MIDI controllers. The old madman. Madness. Madman. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is insanity. We we need to we need to end this. This madness has to end. This madness has to end. I think. It is ten o'clock. It's My ten o'clock. I think I need to go and have. I need to go and have some. You need to go. Yeah, go go and uh, go in some yeah. other room. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Lots of fun. Thank you, Sam. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna turn off autoplay and press stop. Ah. <sighs> Ah, and breathe. And relax. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming and joining in with the, the first ever public outing of Ender Studio with Ender iOS, with Stevie J, with the Riff of the Week, 
with Constine, aka Hannah, aka Constine, Uncle Amunculus, Toe. Yeah, I'm gonna go on Discord now and stick up my Riff of the Week chat. Amazing. And, uh, yeah, we'll Amazing. have a chat through. So many good stuff. Keep coming. Yeah, cool. really good stuff. Thank, yeah, thank you, everyone. And we are gonna do some cool things, and it's only gonna get cooler. So, uh, see you next week. Um, we have uh, World of Playing and uh, me and Imogen Heap. Um, and let's talk about beat battles. I, uh, you know, part of me, part, the madman part of me wants to give it a try on Friday. Friday evening. I'm going to say that as if it's going to happen. But, I mean, it may not happen. But because there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to make happen. Like a Kickstarter campaign, which involves a whole <laughs> bunch of work. Uh, which needs to be done in terms of like preparing it and you know if you want to do a good job of it there's a lot of work involved um and we want to do a good job of it because we want to make cool stuff um so uh so but yeah i would i'm mark i'm making this intention beat beat battles on friday Sounds somehow good. and just make it make it happen get in the discord figure it out um also i like this new riff of the week format not not too long concise punchy um uh, with reverence for good stuff. Um, yeah, I think uh, that that's a cool format, and then follow it up with a little bit more of an in-depth vibe elsewhere. I'm trying to figure out how to do yeah. that. If I can sort of post repost the things yeah. that I really liked in order somewhere else, but uh, I'll work it out. I'll work it out. Yeah, uh, Monistan, try try uh, quitting endless, force quitting endless, and restarting it again. Um, that usually solves stuff. We're still basically we're working on a bunch of server stuff, client side stuff, ironing out all the things that we learn like in launch week. Um, so that's the general advice: quit it, restart it. Um, it doesn't work. Uninstall it, reinstall it. Um, everything will be there, um, and uh, we've got like whole new server stuff coming very very soon. So uh, with that, without further ado. Big up to Jaminar, Stevie Jaminar, J. Jaminar, Jaminar tomorrow night. I'm going to do um, a little bit of a get together on the Jaminar channel in Discord. I'll post it on the main chat channel. Uh, just going to bit of a get together and do some tips and look at the sampler and so on. So if you're new to this whole shebang, then uh, get yeah. on there. And if you're get, not, then come and teach me how it works, please. Get involved Sweet. with Stevie Jay's Jaminar. Night. Unmissable. Nice so yeah, thank you, Stevie. Thank you, everyone. Um, we'll be back. Uh, next week, if not on Friday, for a beat battle. Uh, have a good night.